Hello, welcome to Physio Designer Tutorial Series. In this tutorial series, we will investigate predator prey models based on Lotka Volterra equations. The predator prey model is used to consider ecological systems, in which multiple species play interactive roles, some of them prey on others. As a result, populations of those species show interesting dynamics. At first in this tutorial, we create an original Lotka Volterra model, which was developed by Alfred Lotka and Vito Volterra independently in 1920s. OK, let's begin with a brief background of the Lotka Volterra model. The graph shown in this slide is a famous graph of population of lynxes and hares, recorded from 1845 to 1935 in a section of the Canadian Rockies by Mac Lewich. It shows interesting oscillatory dynamics. Hairs shown by black curve increased, then gray curve, that is lynxes, followed and increase, then hairs decreased. More or less, this kind of coordinated oscillation can be observed. Lotka Volterra model is a simple model considering such kind of interactive dynamics seen in the ecological systems. The model includes two states, which correspond to these two species, that is hares and lynxes. In the equations, hare and lynx represent a population of hares and lynxes, respectively. Parameter A is the hare birth rate, which can be a function of food supply for example. The more hares are, the more hares population grows. B and C are interaction coefficients between hares and lynxes. When they meet, hares are preyed, and its population decreases, which supports lynxes to birth and survive, hence increase. That is why these terms are given by the products of the two populations. Parameter D is the lynx's mortality rate. There are many simplifications of the ecological system in the model, but it still captures that kind of dynamics. Parameter values for A, B, C and D used in this tutorial are shown in the slide. For initial values, we use two for hares, and one for lynxes. Let's start to make a model. At first, we will create a module of hares, in which dynamics of hares population is defined. On the dialog, create a state type physical quantity, named hare, representing the population of hares. The initial value is 2. At the implementation tab, define the node. Parameters A and B are static parameters. Value of A is 0.3, and B is 0.4. Links must be variable parameter type, so change its type at basic setting tab. We will create a module for links later. At the implement tab, the definition type is assign, and create a new import named links. Go back to here. We have to export this value, so create an out port, and make an association between the hair and the out port. That's all for this module. Click OK, and close the dialog. It's simple, isn't it? Next, we will create a links module. In the module, the value of hair is used. So, firstly, make a link from the out port named hair on the hairs module to the links module at the gray import. This creates a physical quantity to receive the value in the module automatically. In the module, define a state named links, with the initial value 1, and a differential equation at implementation tab. Both of parameters C and D e are 0.3. Then, again, go back to links physical quantity, and set a new output to export this value. Then close the dialog. Finally, link from the output of links to the import of hairs. Then set some models properties. At white canvas, right click and select edit model preferences. Set model name, which is Latka Volterra in this case. And set the numerical configuration. The time step for the numerical integration is 0.001, and the time span of a simulation is 300. Then let's save the model into a file. OK. Now let's run a simulation. Call Flint. Data sampling is 1 point per 10 steps. Click Run button. You see, populations of hares and lynxes oscillate with a little phase lag. On the phase plane, it makes single circle. Next, 
let's add a small perturbation to hairs population, and observe what happens. In the hairs module, modify the equation of the physical quantity hair. Let's add a term W at the end of the right hand side of the equation. W should be a variable type parameter. At the implementation tab, the definition type is conditional. The perturbation lasts for only short periods starting from time equals 100. The intensity of the perturbation is given by a physical quantity intensity. The rest of time, W should be zero. Let's set duration is 20, and the intensity is 0.2. This perturbation is positive value, hence it can be interpreted as like there is more food in the period, and hairs can have extra force to increase. Now, observe its dynamics on flint. Interestingly, after the perturbation, the amplitude of the oscillation of both of hairs and lynxes becomes smaller. Why the population of hairs did not grow by the perturbation? Let's zoom into the perturbation period to observe carefully. Actually, during the perturbation is given, the hairs population grew. But it also caused the lynxes population grow. Then perturbation stopped, and at that time, according to the quantitative relationships between hairs and lynxes, the amplitude of the continuing oscillation was determined, which was smaller than the before the perturbation. On the phase plane, we can also clearly observe two cycles, large amplitude and small amplitude, and there is an orbit getting across from large one to small one. You see, Intervention to nature is not straightforward as we think. This kind of model can provide some clues to consider ecological interactions. That's all for this tutorial. Thank you for watching until the end. See you next time. Goodbye.